Who out here plays Overwatch? <laughs> Woo! Then you are at the right place. I'm going to stop talking because we need to get started. And now you're not here to see me. You're here to see them. So first, I would like to welcome to the stage on Holly Vimani. <laughs> Anjali reporting. Yeah. And next, I'd like to bring up to the stage, Carolina Ravasa. <laughs> yeah, keep it up, keep it up. And next, I want to bring up Elise Sang. Coming up is Lucy Paul! <laughs> and I want to give a warm Hello. <laughs> Woo! The doctor is in. Next, I give a warm welcome to Chloe Holly. Welcome. Bonjour. <laughs> and last but not least, I want to welcome Jen Cobb. Yes. Hello, hello, hello. I am the Rocket Queen. <laughs> Sombra online. Awesome, guys. Um, guys, this is Anjali. We're going to say it all together. It's like <laughs> there's an accent on the first A, sort of. Anjali. 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 Yes. Yay. Boop. That's so kind of you. Oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> That's my new boo. If you guys want to go ahead and just start lining up, we have a microphone right there. You're going to go down this way. Are you guys having a wonderful day so far? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, it's yes, so yes. good. We love it. it. Woo! Fort Lauderdale. I got some chocolate from a Genji. Yes. And Are you here? Yes. Oh, shit. Wonderful. Yes, yes. Yeah. Awesome. We have a lot of people. Ying uh -oh. We should probably cut it off somewhere. Ying Xiong Bushio. That's Heroes Never Die in Chinese. Yes. Xiong <laughs> Bushio. All right. Are we ready? Go ahead. Hi, my name's Anna. Hi. Um, Hi. Hello. I have to say, Mercy, May, and Symmetra, you guys are my mains, and you're fantastic, by the way. Really? Yeah. Absolutely love your voice actors, um, or actresses. But it's to everyone. How did you come up, actually, with your voices? For some actors, they have to like go a more high-pitched range. They have to go a lo little lower. How did you come up with your voices for these iconic characters that we all love? I channeled every disapproving Indian auntie and mother <laughs> I've ever met. <laughs> The end. <laughs> uh, yeah, I also channeled my mother. Yeah, my yeah, my Indian mother. Um, <laughs> it's weird. I don't know how it happened, it's but uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't have to change my voice because May is just like me. So yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> that's simple. Yeah. No, I basically had to. I was. Uh, 26 when I started doing this role and I did not feel like I could pull off the uh, uh, sexy femme fatale assassin so basically it was all about trying to go as low as I possibly could and I was m trying to picture like what would I do for a very sexy perfume ad basically <laughs> and uh, I didn't think that that would work and one for spray, some reason one kill yes. <laughs> one dior j'adore <laughs> or whatever so and it worked <laughs> miraculously <laughs> Well, when I first auditioned for Farah, I thought she was a villain. They sent me this audition and I thought she was a villain. So I did this like aerial superiority achieved audition. That was like totally crazy. And then in my first session, uh, they, they told me that she was the Captain America of the game. Yes! And that, right. So that's when it became very clear that she would be an honorable character and made her younger. So that was when. 
Sweet. I was told she was similar to Jessica Jones in tone, so I knew that. I knew she was sarcastic and badass, so I just had to add a little Spanish flavor to that. And I speak pretty low as it is, so I did that. I also tried a New Yorican uh, accent for for my second take, because I was like, they don't know the difference between Mexican and Puerto Rican, and they might like the Puerto Rican version, but um, luckily they did know the difference, and Sombra is Mexican, so thank God. Yes, she would be a great Puerto Rican if she was, but I'm glad that they went with like what's accurate, is what I'm saying. I have a question, there is a huge amount of people out there, is there any way they can sit like on the floor? Are they, are they here for this panel? Because they're wearing Overwatch hats, and I don't want to leave them out if they, if they want to be inside here. Talk to the fire marshal and decide. Yeah, if, you it know, might be a fire marshal. Whoever's in charge. I'm not sure. Okay. The fire marshal can't get in himself. Darn. Okay, well. We're fine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Yay. Emma or Anna? Anna. Hi. 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 <laughs> um, my question was, if you could voice act for any video game, cartoon, TV show, anything like that, and you could pick any character, who would you want to voice act and in what show? Or video game? Well, I always say my ultimate ideal job would be to be the utility player on South Park. If I could be the one who does all of the chick voices on yes. South Park, that would be my fantasy gig. That would be the best. Matt, Trey, if you're listening, that's my gig. <laughs> Yay, I would like to be any character in any Disney or Pixar, even if it's like a piece of cheese or whatever. <laughs> yes! I just want to sing songs. That's so French. French. I, I know. sing songs all day in a, in a great an animation movie. Uh, yeah, all of that. That just has a bit of clapping. I, I agree. Yes. yes. All of that. And uh, I would also like to play a piece of cheese. Because <laughs> <laughs> cheese is uh, delicious. Anywhere. Even just like in real life, I've, I'd stinky, love to stinky. play a cheese. A but stinky it's, it's cheese. Would you Disney be, cheese. Would you be a Disney cheese. Bear? Would you be, what kind of cheese would you be? I would be a Swiss cheese of girls. Um, but with a French <laughs> accent <laughs> just to confuse you. <laughs> I think I would like to do a manchego cheese from Spain. Thank you very much. <laughs> In India, we only have paneer. So oh, very, very good cheese. We have to start but writing this movie. I think we must be the cheese ladies of, of Pixar. This panel is the cheese ladies of Overwatch. Yes. <laughs> Why are you all playing cheese? I'm she thinks we're crazy. <laughs> okay. This is I, like, I hate cheese. You can be the arrogant French cheese that knows well. everything about the real cheese. Well, well. I will have to be your competition. I would have to be a, a triple creme brie for sure. That yes. would be perfect. May, what you know, cheese would you be? All kinds of cheese, okay. <laughs> I, I want to be Olaf in Frozen. Yes! yes! <laughs> I could be with Elsa forever. I love uh, it. But now, uh, a, a very serious question is, if you had to play a cheese, what kind of cheese would you be? Blue cheese. Aww! <laughs> blue cheese. That to listens stop? to the blues. Dun, 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 dun. Because nobody loves me. <laughs> what? <laughs> like Eeyore the Dead? No one likes we blue cheese. cheese. We Very love different. her. I'm crying now. <laughs> See what you did. This See is mayhem. Did. This, look, you guys in took in my fairness, question and turned it into cheese. I don't know what, what you guys know, did with my question. <laughs> Um, I, I, I want to play a non-princess for Disney. Like the tomboy badass. Cheese. Who, the anti-princess, thank like, you. Like Merida from Brave? Yeah, totally. Um, but, but I want her to be Hispanic, because representation matters. I want to be any crazy creature voices in any of the um, uh, movies in the Harry Potter universe. Because I love that universe so much, and also to get to work with all of those actors. I mean, good Lord. You've got, you've got everybody. And if I was a cheese, <laughs> I would be an aged prima donna Gouda. Ooh. <laughs> yes, I'm as fancy as I sound. And those crunchy bits, those are the aged prima donna part. Thank you. Thank wow. you. I got two questions answered. I know, right? <laughs> Thank you. Someone animate that, please. <laughs> Get on it. My question is, how would your personal reaction if all the characters each of you voice act and you manage to meet them in real life? Also, can I have a hug? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you come up. Hardcore. Hardcore hug. She took care of business. 
Y'all, well, y'all weren't expecting parkour, huh? That was amazing. Uh, yeah, that was like a Tigger bounce. That was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. I can't do that. I don't know if anyone can follow that. That was amazing. <laughs> yes. Um, what was the question? Yeah. <laughs> We're confused. No, how would we interact with our characters? Yeah, if you ma- managed to meet them in real life. Like our real characters? Mm-hmm. I would probably run away. <laughs> I mean, I recommend that to any person who does run into Widowmaker. Just, like, run. I would recommend Farah a really good therapist. <laughs> Somebody so who specializes that. in mother issues. Oh, maybe, maybe the therapist yeah. thing for me too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So see that interaction. Well. Anyone? I would tell Mercy to just stop sleeping around town. Slutting <laughs> around. Yeah. I know. There's Kenzie. There's Pharmacy. There's everything, man. Yeah, there's everything. Uh. Ursy. Everything Ursy. Oh my God! I misunderstood the question. Oh, if how would you interact with May? Oh. Or what would happen if you met her? What would happen if you met her? Yeah, they would. <laughs> of course. They would do science yeah. together. Yeah, do some experiments together. And I'll give her uh, ice cream for a treat. <laughs> yeah, thank it's you. It's the cutest. I would have Sombra teach me how to hack the American government. <laughs> All of the opinions of this panel are just the opinions of the people here. Exactly. Yeah. Not the opinions of not a um, Blizzard. Not a Blizzard. 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 Activision, Trademark, TM, all of those things. <laughs> Quid pro quo, whatever it is. Um, after being largely in awe of Symmetra, because she's a lot more elegant than I am and also a lot more shady, um, <laughs> she's very good at elegantly dissing people, I would just ask her to teach me everything. Like, everything. First of all, I'd be like, can I borrow your teleporter? Because I got a lot to do today. <laughs> I want to see a lot of people. I got a lot of things to do. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted the teleporter. Now I play a character who has one, and I don't get to use it. It's just a tease. So, yeah, I'd probably just grab her teleporter Would and you want to go into a car wash with her, though? Uh, not her car wash. Her car wash is a little dangerous. It's so cute, though. If both It'd of you be like cute, and I feel like she'd be like, am I supposed to be impressed? <laughs> These humanly things. She'd be, a little, she'd be a little annoyed with me on a regular basis. <laughs> I feel like you poor thing are. I'm not. I pretend, guys. It's all acting. <laughs> she loves me. No, she doesn't. <laughs> no, she doesn't. If you come to our tables later, we'll, we'll all give you a hug. Yes, yes. Come by the table. Okay. Yes. Sorry, I shouldn't have parkoured. I Thank you for your question. Parkour. Love that you did. Um, just, just for time constraints, we only have a certain amount of time, so no I shout out or hugs. To us just girls. come by the yeah. table. They're going to be there. Are you guys all here all weekend? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, come to the table. Come say hi. Buy sure. some stuff. And uh, yeah. Free boops. <laughs> and Matt. Um, hi, my name is Natalie. Uh, I love hi, you Natalie. guys so much. You look hi. so pretty. Um, so my question is, um, I know recently um, Carolina did a live stream of playing Sombra for the first time. And I was wondering if any of you guys would try doing that, playing your own characters in Overwatch. <laughs> Yeah, well, once I manage to just walk straight um, when I play the game and not do weird things <laughs> that make no sense. But I yes. was doing, weird, that's the thing, I wasn't walking straight and I died 27,000 times, so it's okay. You killed him once. I killed him once. And it was oh. very exciting. And I got my shot of tequila. Yeah. That's, that's how you have to do it. If you kill somebody, you get a shot of tequila and then it's like, inc- oh, or something, a shot of cheese, whatever, you know. Yeah. Yes, now I'm in. The answer yes. is yes now. Yeah, but I want to do it just for the comedy factor. Because yes. I'm the same as Lucy. Like, I, 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 the lines that I hear more often than not when I try to play the game are usually me going, ah! <laughs> like, something like that. So I would like, to, I would like to do it for comedy. Yes. I don't even need cheese. Yeah. Yeah. When I was playing Overwatch in China, I, 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 would, I always run into the front line and shoot everyone, and then I'm dying every time. No. I don't hide. And even I, I always like this. That like this, you know, from front and back, front and back, like this. <laughs> Guys, she is me. Yeah, she they, is. they told me you should like this. You, you should like this, but I can't. <laughs> you gotta put up your firewall, your firewall, your ice wall. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I, I've been told by uh, Keith Silverstein, who does Tobion. Uh, so I played with him on a Twitch account with like, a friend of mine's Twitch account, and um, I'm very bad. He was trying to teach me. He was kind enough to not kill me, but not 
kind enough to not jump on my head for 20 minutes going, you can't see me, where am I? And I was like, I don't know where you are. Yeah, that was not fun. That was rude. I have terrible hand-eye coordination. I'm like a really bad driver. I'm like really bad. So like I'm very familiar with justice reigns from ah! that, That's familiar, but Valkia and I were talking about at some point that I would get to sit down with him and he would teach me. So hopefully we will get to do something together before the end of the year and he could teach me something because I am terrible. I'm so bad. So that would be great. Okay. Thank you. You guys Thank are you. To be fair, I feel like a lot of your characters are like the hardest to play. I don't know why the women characters, especially like Farah and like... Yes, I think that is so hard. I don't even play them, and I play all the time. So right. I'm like, word up. The guys are the easy ones. So yeah. I'm just saying, women rule. Just saying. <laughs> like life. <sighs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Like round two. Thank you all for meeting with me earlier. Um, I just wanted to ask. Um, I love all of your voice lines, like individually. But is there any of each other's voice lines that you guys like? Oh, yeah, so many. Oh, yeah. I love the one shot, one yeah. kill. Yeah. yeah. I love it. It's so good. I love heroes never die. <laughs> <laughs> I want to steal it. I love from, from a character that isn't here today. I'm the strongest woman in the world. <laughs> yes. Also great is you seem nice. I hate to kill you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Is that also Zarya? That's Genji. Oh, sorry, I'm not up with Genji so much. This is Ladies of Overwatch, okay? Oh, uh, but that's so good. Also, because he doesn't move a muscle in his face when he says it. It's just like. <laughs> I, I love um, Angel uh, Angelis. Angelis, that's right. Yahi Balam the Victor Hey. Close, right? Good. That's. I, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with that. That one came in. Um, I love all the growly dude voices. So if yeah. I, if, are we only picking ladies' voices? I want Reinhardt's voice to come out of this body. Yeah. yeah. I want so badly to go up to the mic and be like, <clears throat> Reinhardt, Reinhardt, Reinhardt! <laughs> like I want that to happen, but like him, like Darren DePaul, because he's, he's the same way. You look at him and he looks like an accountant, and then that big voice. <laughs> he's so small, too. He's this oh, really yeah. sweet, funny kind of- Always in a suit. Always in a suit, always. I, I, I suspect Even at the sleeps, gym. I suspect he sleeps in a suit. And um, maybe bathes in one. Who knows? But, uh, uh, yeah, I want those big or like, Torbjorn! I want that to come Torbjorn. out. Torbjorn! <laughs> I, I, was, I was, hack the planet. Oh, yeah! But the other one that I love so much is, step into my parlor, said the spider <laughs> to the fly. Yes! Oh, I've been working on, Adon Pagatovnosti. Yeah, baby. Nice. Oh, and sorry, sorry, so sorry. Yes, 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 oh God. I love doing nerf this, like a mercy diva. Nerf this. Nerf this. <laughs> My merger for that one is boop this. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. Looking rad. King. Oh, I'm King Bob, by the way. Love Hi, that. King Bob. All right. Well, before I say my question, I'm going to tell everybody, I'm really good with all these ladies. Yes. Mm. Really, really ah. good. Well, well done. done. Okay. But now here's the, the player. You really want to know the stats? I'll tell you later. <laughs> no. Now, here's, my, here's a real crazy question. Now, if all you, I want to know if you girls could do a real good sombra impression. Bring it, each one. <laughs> She went the easy route, guys. I uh, boob you. Yeah. Hack the planet. Or something. Hack the planet. Hack the planet. Impression that means your voice line? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, the impression, like imitate how I say it. Right. Try and say hack the planet just like that. I want to say, Abagandalas loses. <laughs> Abagandalas loses. Yes. I actually been practicing that too. All right, go, I'll, I'll give bring it. Time. All right, she go like this and <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Apagando las luces. Yes. 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 Apagando yes. las luces. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi, uh, my name is Robert. Uh, I have a little request for all of you. Could you possibly do your alt lines, but in the middle of it, get killed? Like oh, that's fine. Like no way. I went. I went to. Uh, I went to a panel three months ago, and Matt Mercer was explaining a salty moment he had, and he was, and he did, it's high, you know. Nice. If you could do that for me. Well, I've already done it today. I'll do it again. You got it. Justice reigns from. Person ah! n'échappe. Heroes never. Oh. That's fun, thank you. Thank you very much. There's a first time for everything. Hola. Hola. You look great. Thank you. So I want to ask you, as Overwatch women, how do you guys feel like when you go to Comic Cons or Super Cons or meets, how does it feel to see like your character and your voice being cosplayed? Feels amazing. It's so cool. Yes. And uh, the cosplayers are just amazing artists always themselves because most of you make your own costumes and even if you don't, you put it together yourselves. And so it's amazing to not only to see it and to see your own character, but also to meet the people that are so creative and dedicated. So it's just an amazing world to be a part of, definitely. Yes. I also love that people, what's one of the beautiful things about cosplay as a opposed to just costumes, I think, is the fact that people here, no matter what shape, size, gender, color, anything that you are, are choosing to put on the skin of that character yeah. and are choosing to step into that. I've seen some sexy lady roadhogs. I've seen am amazing yes. Samantras and Hevas. I've seen- Sombros. I've seen Sombros. I've, you know, people, people, it doesn't matter. It seriously doesn't matter what your, your, what your, personal package looks like that may sound dirty but what? It doesn't matter what your what this what this you know this this body that you came in looks like the fact that people are just jumping into these characters and embodying them and owning these things that these these people that they enjoy connecting with excuse me uh, we're on a me boat again. now Sorry. Uh, <laughs> we're taking oh, off guys. the cruise oh, is geez, departing guys. i feel like someone's microphone you in is sitting on their phone. their phone is my phone ringing oh it's is you is it no, i don't have my me. phone guys oh, that's exciting are you hacking? It might be a cruise leaving. There's a cruise uh, out there. There's then a boat. boat. Then they fart. Anyway, that's amazing. It's really, it's really, really, that's a really, really lovely and heartening and exciting thing Thanks to see to because we enjoy, we get enthusiastic and excited about your enthusiasm and excitement. To, yeah, absolutely. To add yes. on to what you're saying, totally. That I've seen as many male Faras as female Faras, and I'm blown away by the idea of everyone relating to this character yes. and everyone owning that machismo. And then to see the time put in, the time and the ingenuity and the creativity and the perfectionism, I'm just blown away by it. I mean, it's not my forte doing it, so it, it just I'm beyond impressed and really flattered. Agreed. Honored. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Who's your daddy? <laughs> yeah, baby. That was really Not good. <laughs> Hi, ladies. My name is Marcus Tricarico. Hello. <laughs> hey. First off, it's very nice to meet every single one of you for the first time. Thank you. I <laughs> yes, yes. love your work. Um, I wanted to ask you guys this. Um, I asked this question to all the voice actors and voice actresses that I meet for the first time. Um, can you take me through the process of um, the auditions and like what you want when you want when you decided you wanted to take this field of work? Because I've actually done like a essay in college about it, and uh, my teacher was very interested in it about it, and I did a lot of research on it myself. And I wanted to, you know, get some more feedback from more people that I've met before, so. Who wants to take this baby? <laughs> so are you asking about how you start your career? Or are you asking about well, auditioning no. from one job into booking it and, and starting well, it? Well, it could be either or, really. It could be like, you know, when you first auditioned for this game specifically. I think that's what people want to hear. Cool. So I had already done voices for Blizzard because I had done World of Warcraft characters. <laughs> 
And so Andrea Toyas, their genius casting director and voice director, knew me. And so I got sent this audition for a, a, a game that at the time, the code name for it was Prometheus. That's right. And Farah had a code name. And it's before anything had come out. And again, from the description, as I read it, I thought that she was a villain. So I did this very villainous audition. And the way it works when you're a voice actor is you get, you know, you can get between three and five auditions in a day, and so you forget. You do an audition, you send it in, you promptly forget, you move on, you don't think about it. Mm -hmm. So I sent it in, whatever. Six months later, I get a call from my agent that I have booked this job for Overwatch, a character called Farah, and I have a session on my birthday. And I say, oh, that's so nice, but I didn't audition for that. So there's a mistake. There's no way. They, they got the wrong person. There's, you know, because Jen Cohn is like the John Smith of Jewish girls. So I figure there must be like some Jen Cohn voice actress in LA who must be the one who booked this. And they said, no, 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 it's you. So I go in on my birthday. I do, I start to get on the session and I've got Michael Chu and I've got Jeff Kaplan and I've got Andrea Toyas. And I say, guys, I'm so sorry. I think you made a mistake. It's the wrong Gen Cone. I never auditioned for this. I don't know what Overwatch is. And they all laughed, and they all played the Farah audition for me, the villain Farah. <laughs> and I went, oh, I remember this. Oh, wait, it's this. This is what I booked. And they said, yeah, this is it. And that's when they told me that she was the Captain America of the game. And that was the day that we found her voice. And I remember having a great time. It was a four-hour session, and we had a really great time. And we found her voice pretty quickly. And then afterward, my agent said to me, I think this is going to be a big deal. <laughs> and I went like, oh, whatever. You know, like, what does that mean? Who knows what that means? But it's been like an incredible ride since. And I didn't even know what a big deal it would become for at least a year after that. It's amazing, though, that you booked it not having done the Farrah voice you do now. Like, they, they, they heard something they liked and they said, we'll tweak it. I, I you know? say, it's that why doesn't happen that often. It's why I say she's so good. I mean, I had done other things for her. So she knew it. But yeah, I... I say like she was able to hear some sort of seriousness and some sort of honor in it and and cast it. But yeah, it's wild. Awesome. Yeah, I think none of us really had an idea of what it was going to become. I uh, so I live in Paris for those of you who don't know. Um, and uh, so I have Paris, been, Illinois. <laughs> yeah, no, pa Paris, Las Vegas. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, uh, no, in. Paris, France. And um, I was I've been doing voice work like my whole life, but I I had no real idea of like what Blizzard represents, like how big of a how how big it is, how huge it is. So um, they had started. They had cast a a Widowmaker in the U.S. And finally, her French wasn't like spot on. And when they sent the project to a dubbing studio in Paris so that they would take care of the whole dubbing. The French people there listened to Widowmaker and they were like, hmm, maybe in Paris we can find an actress who will do the French lines just a little sharper and stuff. So they started looking around and basically it was just this random story of someone who I know that knew them was like, oh, Chloe speaks two languages. So I just went in for an audition. And at that point I was auditioning for the short. I was, uh, so that was my audition, alive. So I went through it and again, not believing that I would ever get it. Cause I was like, I am, there is no way. Like, no, I, I would have done a tracer. I would have done, you know, someone else, not this, not this lady, this woman, when I felt like a, like a Polly Pocket. Anyway, so, <laughs> so um, but yeah, basically that's how it happened. And then call back and then it's just another regular audition story. But are we going to, do we have time for everybody to answer or um, I'm going to say we are we I have I don't want all these people not to oh, get wow, a shot. Have. I mean I can go real About quick. I minutes. I just got under a blanket in my bed and recorded an audition and I sent it in and then I got a call back which means that you get um, asked to to do a, a second audition and that was with Andrea Toyas on the phone and then I booked it. So that's just the the speed version of it. Okay, um, they, they told me that there's a Blizzard, a new Blizzard game. They want a girl who can speak English and Chinese and they, they thought, oh, uh, Elise Zhang, he, uh, she majored in chemical technology. She might can speak English. So <laughs> here, I, w I went there and that suits me so well. So bang, I got, I got, I got her. That's awesome. <laughs> wow. 
Um, but also just a lot of us, we, we've been working in acting for years, so we get a lot of auditions all the time for voice stuff, for camera stuff, for commercials, for uh, I sell McDonald's in Espanol porque es tan deliciosa la Big Mac. So, no, really. So, so it's just like it was another audition that came in for a lot of us and we're like, oh, awesome because she's a cool character, but we never think we're going to book them because we book like, you know, 1% of all the jobs we audition for. So that's kind of like what a lot of us went through. It's just one of the millions of auditions we get and we don't know if it's going to happen. So we do our best and we kind of bring forth the character that we think is going to work, but we don't know if they're going to like it. And then, boom, same. I didn't, I was like, I never auditioned for Noche. What's that, you know? And then, and then two months later, they book you, you know? So that's kind of... I will say that it's a good testament to uh, a, a testament to saying yes, even when you think something is impossible. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter where you are in the world nowadays, you can record a voice uh, audition. So I was in London. I was on my way. I knew I was about to, uh, for various reasons, was about to go into an all-nighter straight into a flight home at 7 o'clock in the morning. And I got the audition via email as I was leaving to be on that whole all night uh, uh, event. So I came home after being up all night, recorded it twice on my phone, sent it off and got on a plane. And that's what happened. So it gives you a sense of as a voice actor, be game, don't tell yourself that you don't know. You, you don't know what you really sound like. You know, none of us really do. So don't ever bother, unless you don't want to do the job, don't ever try to judge yourself. It's not your place. You shouldn't, your other people's opinions are not your problem. Yeah. And they're certainly not your business. So let yourself put, let yourself put it, put yourself on, on tape. And then, just super quick, because I know someone is going to have this question. A lot of people like to ask us, for obvious reason, you have a lot of resources up here. Um, what is, what is, how does a voice actor, how do I get started as a voice actor? Everyone, have your phones or your pens or something ready. There is a website called literally I want to be a voice actor dot com. Oh. Go there. It yeah, has a great place for resources. And the guy who runs the website and created it all is the voice of the little hamster. Hammond! D. Bradley Baker. So check it out because he gives you some really good tips. Yes. I want to be a voice actor dot com. Wow. Yes. Check that out. Thank you so much, ladies. I appreciate all your work. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, FYI, we have 10 Hi, minutes Dad. and there's a lot of you. So this is going to be a speed question. Speed I understand. Speed Hi, you're wonderful. You're great. Speed so we're going to have to speed the, through the questions themselves. So means we have Thank to you. speed answer. We're going to talk really fast. Speed Go. answer. Uh, uh, when you first uh, signed up for the roles, oh, also hi. Uh, when you first signed up for the roles that you did, how d did you know that they would be this popular? No. No, no way. And, uh, nope. Like, like, how does that Never. make you feel that they're this popular now and you didn't realize they would before? Amazing. Amazing. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 kind of changed. So that's that's how that's how it is. It's great. Yeah, yeah it's In amazing. A good way. Thank yes, you. We love it. It's really great. Thank, Thank you so you. much. <laughs> Go, Hansel, go! <laughs> Arturo. Uh, first of all, thank you for joining us here at uh, Florida. Um, it's incredible to have you guys. It's such an honor. You're welcome. Um, I want to ask you guys, I know that it's um, interesting when you have to do the, what they call effect uh, voices, where like, you get hit or you're getting shocked. How do you guys get in that mindset? Like, how, how are you guys able to make those sounds or so, really some sounds painfully. are pretty nuts <laughs> for me it's just a case of not thinking about it and just committing to it you know die okay Ugh. yeah it's so much fun you yeah. physically so much fun, contort it's so much fun you just laugh a lot i mean it's great yeah. i laugh at myself because yes. i sound so pathetic yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh and also there's somebody with you that yes. is like a, an expert in it and so if you're stuck or something they can they give you suggestions of how it should sound you know or what it would sound like exactly. <laughs> they typically have an idea in their mind of what kind of noise they're looking for so if you're not nailing it they'll say something in this direction yeah. and then you give them that it's yeah. fun it's so fun i love it too yeah. it's all about imagination yeah. <laughs> yes uh, also real quick question uh, Jen, where do you get your fashion sense? You always have the, the most amazing shoes every time. Yay! Yay! That was the nicest question, Arturo. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this dress is by a designer called Tome, and these boots are a designer called Vetement, and they should be giving me commission for naming them. Should. We should all get a pair Thank of you. those for a and pair. I, <laughs> um, I, I just... I, 
I always, since I'm a kid, I'm like a total sicko for clothes. I'm just a sicko for fashion and style. And I like highbrow and lowbrow, and I don't care. You can get it anywhere. You can go to a flea market. You can get it in a ditch. You can put it in a paper bag. It's great. Just, just go steal, for it. Express like yourselves. You yeah, Groom your eccentricities. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, I'm Joe. Hello. Hi, Joe. Real big fan of you here. Um, what is your take on the uh, the new upcoming hero, and how do you feel about him? Your interactions. Is that Hammond? Yes. I'm yes. so excited. <laughs> I love him so much. It made my yeah. day when he came out. I was losing my mind. I wrote immediately to Michael Chu and Jeff Kaplan. Just said thank you so much for making my life this morning. It was really fun. <laughs> yeah, we're super excited to see what happens. So yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. It. Well, and I love I D. I mean, D, who voices it, is he's like well, he's. So it's two, the hamster's yes. D, and then the robot that the hamster's in is another, John Lipow. So right, yeah. it's, it's two, it's two voice actors for one character. Super cool. And both well, very cool. Like the ball, right? The ball, the ball. Like yeah. The ball. And I keep on saying, I, I mean, our country is in such a terrible, tumultuous place. And so, like, you think about if there's a terrible trauma going on in your family, what do your parents do? They get you a hamster. So yeah. look, we get yeah. we got a hamster. Yeah. Papa Jeff gave us a hamster. So grateful. Thank, so you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> On the payload. Hey guys, um, hey. my name is Andrew. Um, I met three of you guys, and excuse me, I forgot your guys' names because I'm up here in front of beautiful women. Mine goes blank. It's okay. So you know it. So um, I want to say thank you to Sombra, uh, Symmetra, and Mercy. Y'all were fantastic. I love you guys. So nice. And I'm going to meet you three as well. Love but it. my main question is how do you guys feel as uh, the females of the game? that um, no matter how intense the fight gets, y'all are the ones that turn it around. Anyone can, like, whole, you can Just get, like real life. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh. Who runs the world? Like, you get, like, a five-man five man down. You're like, yeah, we got this. And all of a sudden, you see Mercy flying, and you're like, ah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you guys see that play, that play, oh, that, that Overwatch reposted from the first playoffs the other night with the Widowmaker up in the corner, and it's like, bam, 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 bam. Like, I was like, that's right, that's how it's done, bam. <laughs> I think it's about time that video games have such badass lady characters. Yes. <laughs> and I think we love that... Both men and women like playing the ladies and men and women like playing the dudes and it's not like, oh, I don't want to play Tracer because she's a chick and I think that we feel very proud to, to oh, be part yes. of this. Oh, yes. Well said. Yes. Thank yeah. you for bringing yes. it up. Yeah, thank, thank you. you thank Andrew. you guys so much. All are beautiful. I'll see you three thank later. Yeah. Yeah. Love you. Looking forward to it. Okay, I'm going to try something since we only have a few minutes. I'm going to go bam, 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 bam through the line. So here we go. Hi, what's your question? My question is uh, if you guys uh, played, uh, not your heroes, would you, who would you play? Play as other heroes. heroes. We'll Junkrat, Winston, Diva, Skip, Skip, uh, uh, Zarya, uh, 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 Reinhardt. Woo! Thank Skip, you. Skip is a new character. Hi guys, I'm gonna try and keep Skip it super quick. 29. My name is Carl. Anjali, I love you so fucking much. Aww, Sombra, yeah. I love the YouTube channel. Um, can you guys uh, have a particular salty moment in your history, like or an angry moment, and voice it in your character, like an angry moment in your life or in line or game? In voice. Well, this could take a while. Life in line. Not or a game. quick question. Wait, wait, wait. One angry salty. moment. We live in New York. Our whole life is an angry moment. <laughs> <laughs> In like the booth? Everything I say is a salty moment. <laughs> and everything I say, you were not meant for greatness. Was she just mean to me? It's all salty moments. <laughs> were you done talking? I mean, hello. We're, we're kind of snarky, right? All right, here we go. Uh, if I, when I meet Hamston, ha Hamston, when I meet <laughs> Mr. Hamston, when I meet, when I meet Wrecking Ball, I feel like it's going to be, so you're a hamster. <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> You can build a mech, but you can't talk. <laughs> you don't know if he can talk. Yet. Yet. I'm confused. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hi. Thank you. Um, hi. I'm Amber. I love all of you. Um, Elise, I love you so much. I'm Thank a May main. Uh, but my question, what is the weirdest thing someone has ever had you sign at a convention? Oh. They're a baby. A baby. A baby. A baby in Vegas. Do you, are you I afraid that I saw it? She was like, did you, did you have to sign that baby? I'm like, no, baby. That I was all you. signed a baby. Signed I signed a, a forehead. It was three weeks old. Woo! Wow. I 
really hope they wash that baby. Okay. Wanted me to sign it. Don't look at me like that. Jen. Lucy <laughs> wins. Lucy yes. wins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hands down. And we're all like, you signed a baby? How do you talk that? Hey, how does it feel being in FPS where you're representing so many different ethnicities and cultures and et cetera? Well, I think like, we're all very oh, proud right. of it. Like forces for good. Like, yes. like forces for good. Like, like Carolina it, said, like it's about artists time. for good. Yeah. Yes. 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 Thank we you. are changing the world. No longer answers for that. Hey, ladies. Um, what traits do you think from your characters you've adapted in your real life? Like some of their traits and like personality or a bit more confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I've become political, and so I feel like I've become more of a fighter for what's right. I mean, the timing of this game and what's going on in the world have come together, so definitely that. Uh, yeah, I've, I'm always very compassionate and empathetic, and um, I always support everybody in my friend group. Uh, lies. Okay. Mm. No, no, I do think I share a lot of those traits with my little Mercy. I didn't quite understand, so skip, skip, skip. No, how do you connect with May? What's one of her traits that you, that you love or that you feel you also have? Oh, okay. Yeah, we are both smart. Yes. And adorable. Yes. Totally adorable. <laughs> uh, you know, she's not uh, physically strong and she's not that slim and beautiful, but she's a scientist. Can she, oh, thank you. She's she can gorgeous. change the world, so yes, yeah, I like her. Absolutely. I'm moving around LA uh, translocating. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, I think I've always had a, a, like a kind of weird, dark sense of humor, and I keep cultivating that, so. <laughs> Uh, two things. One, I can't stand any picture frame being off, so I go into rooms and I fix all of those. But also, Symmetra has had uh, a very troubled past. Obviously, the, the circumstances that she's had are, are, are very hard, but she never lets that stop her from moving forward and trying to do better in the world for the other people who've had a hard past. And I think that's very similar to what I've... Because yeah. anything crappy that I've been through, I'm kind of like, awesome. Well, at least I can figure this out for other people so they don't have to go through it. Mm. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> Carolina, you've had a lot of these voice actresses on Hispanglo-Saxon. How goes the search for the newer uh, DLC voice, uh, voice actors? <laughs> if I told you, I would have to kill you. Yeah, like I'm working on it. I'm working on it. That's another sombra line. Yeah, dude, I'd love to. I'd love to meet Doomfist and and Moira uh, and uh, Brigitte. Uh, so yeah. we'll we'll work on it. Yeah. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. I love him. I love Who is him. best girl and why is it May? <laughs> What's the question? Who is, what, which best girl? Who is best girl and why is it May? <laughs> why is May best girl? Look at her. Basically, you answered it. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Hey. Look at her. Woo! You're the best, right May. How's it going? Least favorite voice line. Go. Least favorite? Least favorite. Yeah. We, we can't say... Uh, I don't have any. No, Sorry, I love them either. all. Sorry. Mm, they're all so I mean, good. I suppose the ones where I'm dying because I don't like to die. Okay, I just got to wrap it up. I am so, so, so oh, sorry about that. No, 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 two more, two more, two more. Okay. Uh, yeah, yes. Exactly. Gorgeous. Okay, hi, I'm Diana. Um, uh, can you give me your best falling impression of your character? The falling. Best falling? Falling? Like, falling? 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 Yeah. Like when... Oh! Oh! Sorry, we're all crazy. I fall silently. Yes. Are you guys...